Would you believe me if I told you that there are potentially trillions of particles coursing through your body right now that you can't see, feel, or hear? These particles are so vast that they make up more than six times all the visible matter in the universe. And not only can we not see them with the naked eye, we cannot detect them with any of our instruments. This kind of matter is called dark matter, and it constitutes 25% of the entire universe. The rest of the universe comprises 70% of dark energy and 5% ordinary or baryonic matter. A massive international effort is underway to determine the nature of dark matter. Astronomers have devised ever more complex and sensitive detectors to tease out the identity of this mystery matter, bringing an arsenal of advanced technology to bear on the challenge. They can observe its effects on the motions of galaxies and other astronomical objects, but what it's made of remains a mystery. To solve it, physicists have devised various solutions, plus a unique method to find each one. Some of the concepts for dark matter particles emerged from attempts to answer other physics problems. Others are testing the limits of our understanding of dark matter. Most scientists believe that dark matter is composed of non-baryonic matter. There are the WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles, a type of particle thought to have been created in the early universe. If dark matter were a pop star, WIMPs would be Beyonce because they are the canonical candidate for dark matter. WIMPs have about 10 to 100 times the mass of a proton, yet they are difficult to detect because of their weak interactions with ordinary matter. Several different types of detectors have been used to detect WIMPs. The idea is that on rare occasions, a WIMP might collide with an ordinary atom, releasing a faint flash of light that can be observed. The Xenon-1T detector was the first sensitive detector to be produced, which consists of a 10-meter cylinder containing 3.2 tons of liquid xenon, surrounded by photomultipliers to detect and amplify the exceedingly faint flashes from these uncommon interactions. No collisions between WIMPs and xenon atoms had been observed as of July 2019, when the detector was decommissioned to make room for the Xenon NT, a more sensitive detector. Real quick, I want to say a big thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video, supporting our channel, and keeping our online data safe. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network, and it encrypts all the information sent between our computer and the internet so that no one can steal our personal data. A VPN can be used for more than just security. If you have run out of content on Netflix, for example, you can use the VPN to change the virtual location of your computer to unlock completely new content libraries. If you don't already have a VPN, we highly recommend NordVPN. When you have NordVPN, you can just choose whatever country in the world you want your IP address to be from, and then voila, you're safe to go. Go to nordvpn.com slash cosmonowledge to get 73% off the two-year plan with four additional months for free. Try NordVPN risk-free thanks to their 30-day money-back guarantee. The recognized example of a WIMP is the neutralino, which is derived from supersymmetry theory. Supersymmetry proposes that every known particle has a superpartner that aids in the filling of some gaps in the standard model. However, its particles have eluded observation. Some of them, such as partners of the photon and the Z boson, have dark matter-like properties. Dark matter could be a mixture of these supersymmetric particles, with the neutralino being the most likely to be observed. The discovery of a neutralino would help solve two major physics problems. It would reveal the identity of dark matter and prove the existence of supersymmetry. However, it would also leave scientists with the challenge of all those other missing supersymmetric particles. 
Even though wimps have long been the most popular candidate for dark matter, they aren't the only ones. The failure to identify wimps and the frustration that comes with not being able to account for a significant percentage of the universe's mass has prompted many scientists to consider other alternatives. A particle known as the Axion is creating new enthusiasm as the quest for WIMPs faces challenges. The Axion itself isn't new. It was first proposed by physicists in the early 1980s, shortly after Helen Quinn and Roberto Pache published a landmark paper that helped solve an issue with the strong nuclear force. While it's been simmering as a dark matter candidate in the background for decades, experimentalists haven't been able to observe it yet. The Axion Dark Matter Experiment, Adam X, at the University of Washington has been on the hunt for axions by employing a high magnetic field to try to convert them into measurable photons. Simultaneously, theorists are beginning to imagine new sorts of axions and new methods to find them. Another candidate is sterile neutrinos. Neutrinos are particles that aren't found in ordinary matter. A river of neutrinos flows from the sun, but since they rarely interact with ordinary matter, they pass through the Earth and its inhabitants. The sterile neutrino, a type of neutrino, is proposed as a dark matter candidate. It would only interact with ordinary matter through gravity. Finally, dark matter could be none of these candidates, or it could be more than one. Whatever the case may be, scientists will be probing the depths of the universe for decades uncovering new theories on dark matter as old ones are solved. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.